the full house at resorts and they are ready for tonight's main event on USA's Thursday night fights light heavyweight competition former two-time champion Dennis Andres in the ring against Art Jimerson Andres the former champion turns 36 years old on November 5th he lost his crown four months ago to Jeff Harding and at his age, he knows that tonight is a must-win situation to keep his hopes alive for a third world title. You know, once you're up at the top, you got to say the crossroads. You cannot lose because it, it takes too long to get back on top. So you got to cross it. Well, though he does not like to call this fight a crossroads fight, he is in a desperate situation. If he loses tonight, Dennis Andre's career could be over. And the two fighters uh, cross paths. Art Jimerson, 26 years old, nearly 10 years younger than his opponent, out of St. Louis, Missouri. And Jimerson has had just 15 fights in his career, but he's shown enough promise to be ranked in the top 20. He knows he can catapult to the top of the rankings with a win, and this is how he'll go about it. You know, if Dennis stays in over 10 rounds, great, because he's going to get beat for 10 rounds. I'm fighting 10 rounds all the way. No stopping. You know, I want this fight, and there's no way in the world, you know, it's like, you know, fighters say to themselves, you know, if I just did this better, if I just did that better, I'm going to say I did the best I could, you know? I'm going to say I did the best I could for this fight, because, again, the opportunity is here, and it's knocking, you know, and uh, for 10 hard rounds, I want to fight. He is excited about this opportunity. This morning, Art was hyper, extremely active. In comparison, Dennis Andres was up in his room, resting and relaxing, getting ready for this fight tonight. That could become a factor. The tail of the tape, although Andres looks smaller and stockier, they're the same height. Andres a couple of pounds heavier. Jimerson with the reach advantage. Let's take a look at the blackboard. Art Jimerson should speed up tonight. The first thing you go on an aging fighter like Andres is the quick moves. He's got to build up points with uh, those small punches and score, then move away from Dennis. For Andres, he must use the body attack. First, he's got to take away art speed, then come on strong later. For the introductions of the two fighters in our main event, let's go to ring announcer Ed Derry. Live from Merv Griffin's Superstar Theater, here at Resorts International Casino Hotel in the boxing capital of the world of Atlantic City, New Jersey. This is the main event of the evening, and it's scheduled for 10 rounds in the light heavyweight division. It's approved by the New Jersey State Athletic Commission, the Honorable Larry Hazard Commissioner, the Honorable Jerry Gormley Chairman. The chief physician in attendance at ringside this evening is Dr. Frank B. Doggett, along with Dr. Eric A. Wormser and Dr. Dominic F. Coletta, Jr. The deputy commissioner in charge this evening is the Honorable Lawrence Wallace. The judges, Richard F. Murray, Tommy Kazmarek, and Joe Pasquale. Counting for the knockdown seconds, alternate referee Rafael Ramos. The timekeeper to bell is Roosevelt Gilbert. In the ring at this time, the man in charge of the scheduled 10-round light heavyweight bout, referee Joe Cortez. And now, boxing fans, introducing the principals. First, in the red corner, wearing the white trunks with the black trim. He tipped in at an even 175 pounds. This gentleman has 12 wins, three losses with six knockouts. All the way from St. Louis, Missouri. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Art Jimerson. Jimerson. And his opponent in the blue corner, wearing the gold trunks with the red and blue trim. He weighed in at an even 177 pounds. This young fella has 34 wins, 8 losses, 1 draw, with 21 knockouts. The former two-time light heavyweight champion of the world. He is currently ranked number 2 by the World Boxing Council, number 8 by the World Boxing Association. A native of Georgetown, Guyana and now residing in Detroit, Michigan. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Dennis, the Rock Andres. Andres. All right, Art, Dennis, we will begin with both of you in the dressing room. Uh, good clean fight, obey my commands at all times. Shake hands, good luck to both of you. 
Jefferson's last fight, 10-round decision loss at the hands of now champion Jeff Harding, that back in March. And that led Harding to his fight against Dennis Andres when he beat Andres for the crown in June. Andres said his mistake for that fight, he was following a vegetarian diet. He lost his strength. He faded each round. Actually, Andres was winning the fight before Harding came on to stop him in the 12. And also for that fight, the weigh-in was the day before the fight. He thought that it was going to be the day of the fight, so he didn't dry out properly. Jimerson was tagged. He wants to smother the shots of Andres, but Andres trying to dig in from underneath. Could this be a mistake for Jimerson? Well, also, Andres wants to be more physical. He wants to speed up and use his combination. Wants to take the speed out of Jimerson's punches by going downstairs to the body. And he really is going down to south of the border in that exchange. So the two, shoulder to shoulder. A tug of war here in the opening seconds as Andres looks to step back and swing away. And both men are so aggressive. They have to be careful, though, because it's easy to get your head buttoned together. You don't want to ram each other in the face. Now, Andres at 177, Jimerson at 175, but you see the difference in the distribution of the weight. Andres has it all above the waist, and Jimerson very thick in the legs, below the waist. Very heavy in the legs for uh, Jimerson. Andres, most of his weight is in his upper body and his shoulders. He's got 61.7% knockouts. All that weight in his shoulders is going to be on the end of his punches. Out of 34 wins, 21 KO. Oh, big exchange, and Jimerson backs up Andres. Jimerson ranked number 17 by the WBC. Knows he could leap to the top where Andres is sitting now in the number two spot. An important round this first round because this round you set the pace of the fight. And Jimerson scoring good here in this first round and heavily. Andres has to take that control back. But Andres also should be patient because with the experience that he has, 43 fights over only the 15 fights of Jimerson, he'll realize that this fight is set for 10 rounds, not for three. Andre. He's hoping not for one, because Jimerson throwing some heavy combinations. He's found a home for that right uppercut, has our Jimerson in the white trunk. Andres, in his career, has fought 348 rounds. Jimerson, 89. 20 seconds to go here in the first round. This fight originally scheduled for September 21st was postponed uh, at that time a month ago because in sparring before the fight, Andres had uh, suffered a cut on the lower lip, which has uh, since healed. Closing seconds of round number one. Bring on, bring on. I'll ask you about the lip when you come back. 